Hey everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Uh, we're here at the Citadel. Um, we're looking for uh, Arya now here in the uh, Purgatory nightclub. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so um, looks like we need to find uh, power. Uh, let's look up uh, this mission real quick. Yeah, improve the power grid. A technician at Purgatory on the Citadel needs an improved power grid to keep things running. Find schematics for a new power grid and deliver them. Alright. Uh, looks like this is the only entrance, so let's go in. Okay, uh, I'm not sure who they're referring to, but it seems like someone saved them. Uh, are these guys chatty? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like he wants her here for whatever reason. Alright. Uh, okay. We're going up. What else do we have here? Looks like there's these platforms um, just going up. So you oh, here she is. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of hmm. course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. That was quick. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. Uh, that's crazy because I think she's been running Omega for a couple hundred years, I think. So uh, it's interesting to see how Cerberus could have just taken it. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. Payback is hell. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. Oh yeah? I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the blood pack 
Blue Suns and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Um, so is she offering uh, those gangs to join us? Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Always a pleasure. Okay, so she's offering um, the Blood Packs, the Blue Suns, and the Eclipse to help us against the uh, Reapers. But, I mean, those guys are all criminals, so we're, I mean, we're not sure if we actually want them on our side. But then again, Arya has like significant influence over them. So, uh, if she can assure us that, you know, they'll behave and uh, fight on our side, then uh, it might be worth it. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to her about these. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. If we're going to work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. All right, fair enough. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. Okay. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, <laughs> chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got seasick eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. I can't even get an ovarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. We'll Alright, you later. do that. I'm sure. Okay, um, we talked to Arya. That was the main reason for coming here, but let's just uh, check out the rest of this place. See if anyone else wants our help. James. Alright. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a loco. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you mean then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, 
You want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Uh. All right. All right. Not today. Good idea. All right. Let's go with not today. Let's not overdo it. Well, you could at least buy me around. I had a feeling you were working up to that. <laughs> yeah. And I have a feeling you're not gonna buy me one. All right. Um. Uh, I think it was these guys who were talking, not sure. They did mention Palavin uh, and their Turian, so. Nothing going on here. Uh, dance floor. Uh, I think we can do our uh, signature moves over there, so we'll definitely do that. Uh, can't talk to them. Yeah, so let's uh, do the shepherd. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely us. <laughs> All right. I think we've loosened up enough. You know what? Let's uh, go buy them drinks if they still want it. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Or I think we missed our chance. <laughs> Alright, so we still need to uh, find Thane. And I think he is... Uh, I think he's in the the hospital and I just remembered um, we didn't get a chance to talk to Edie and uh, Joker in the Presidium um, yeah so we'll go talk to them first All right. So we're here at the Presidium. I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Interesting. So um, she wants to break up with him. Uh, now they're discussing how to do that. Um, yeah, let's see how that unfolds. Uh, so Edie and Joker, they're down here somewhere. Alright, there's Edie. Cast of fabri uh, fabrication. Okay, that's Joker. Welcome to the Philadelphia shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? <laughs> I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. 
I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Well, her apology did seem sincere. But the Krogans do need to uh, figure out which side they, uh, they should be on. Uh, the Nos Astra Sporting Goods. Okay, we'll check that out. What is this? Have we been here? We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. All right, so we got a new mission here to stabilize the heating units. So we'll do that. Uh, this is CSEC over here. All right, let's go back down. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen. I don't need a new model, or store credit, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. Alright, so, um... He doesn't seem to have uh, a receipt, you know, the the things you would need to uh, get a refund. But it does seem like uh, he talked to his manager. But I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, but alright, let's try to stay pro-consumer here and support the customer. Look, he's not going to leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Well said. <laughs> here, I've sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? <laughs> He's surprised. The whole 15 credits. <laughs> this was all over 15 creds? Hey, thanks. No problem. Alright. Um, we saved some guy 15 creds. Awesome. Alright. Sip, uh, the Cipratine Armory? Uh, again, lots of mods. We should definitely start buying some of this. Um, all right, let's let's buy some now. Yeah, increase damage by 15. We're gonna buy that. Uh, accuracy by 15. Uh, I think I'm going to get the extended barrel for the sniper uh, and increase its damage. Yeah, let's just... Let's see what else there is. Alright, Agor Munitions. SMG scope. Every round has a 25% chance of not using up the thermal club. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy this. Please obey all local government restrictions when purchasing yeah, that heatsink uh, may allow us to not use uh, up some of our ammo. Or I think that's what it does. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Alright, that's on repeat. Uh, reduced weapon weight by 50%. Our selections include rare technology okay, let's go ahead and buy that. Systems. Model Citadel. That's cool. We'll buy All that. May apply for a professional discount. Oh, collector armor. 
This was, I think, DLC Mass Effect 2. Uh, okay. Do we want this? Alright, we'll go ahead and buy this. Uh, can we, yeah, let's do this. Right, so we also have this available on our ship, but I'm not sure if, um, what the prices are. Probably higher than these here. Oh, okay, so apparently there's a wartime discount. Uh, I'm not sure if that translates over to our ship. Alright, so um, the Skimitar. This here is a um, shotgun. I think Grunt could only use it in Mass Effect 2, but I might be wrong about that. Pistol Magazine Upgrade 2. Okay. Piercing mod. Stability by 30%. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and take this. Increases spare shock capacity by 60. All right, I think we're good. Let's um, let's talk to Joker first. Hey, Commander, check it out! Big news: the Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. Oh yeah, we saw that. Big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. <laughs> These people have no idea. Um, I mean, we have a huge influx of refugees, so I would think that they're scared at least a little. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war <laughs> prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. <laughs> she run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> oh, is that what you call her? I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. <laughs> Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. All right, let's go talk to Edie. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated you think? it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first hand sexual experience. How do you know oh, do I? <laughs> he's romantically invested? Uh yeah, let's go ahead and say that. Usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired <laughs> emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Blasto. Like Watch Blasto. Himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Uh, yeah, your company is what matters. The important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. 
But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Alright, so now it looks like we're playing matchmaker. Uh, we are uh, giving uh, love advice to an uh, unshackled AI. So, you know, good times. 